It's true that inequality has increased in Europe, in the US also, and this is not due to the recession, in my view. It is much uh, before the recession. And it is, I think there are many causes, but one is the excessive belief that we put in markets in the past, uh, let's say, two decades. We consider that markets could deliver magnificent results, and that if uh, inequality would increase, that was uh, a little price to pay. Now, we know also because financial markets are responsible of the crisis that started in the financial sector and then spread over the economy, so we now know that the fate that we put in markets was too much. I think it's true that in recent decades, the moral and civic basis of solidarity has been eroding. And I think for two reasons, both related to our theme. One of them is the rising inequality in our societies in recent decades. And the other is something that's related but different, and that is, the growing tendency of markets and market values and market thinking to reach into spheres of life previously governed by other non-market norms, personal relations, health, education, civic life. Increasingly, every sphere of life is uh, dominated or governed by market thinking and market values. And I think these two tendencies together make solidarity hard to come by. Listening to Michael's um, very appealing and uh, eloquent thoughts, um, I, I was thinking about what kind of solidarity we need now, within which that kind of discourse could take place. And in a democratic world, we need solidarity about the following values. Uh, the importance of the rule of law, the importance of government by consent, the sense that uh, both individual and where appropriate group rights are truly respected. I believe that the, the euro actually brought out all the inefficiencies of Europe, the lack of a common solidarity. The euro actually helped to show us that the, the, the emotion and the solidarity in Europe is not there. We have lost um, the, the pursuit of a political project and we concentrated over the last 13 years on the pure economic project. I, I think it's, it's, it's very simple. It's, and we have that expression in Germany that you, you can't be half pregnant. And this is exactly what we're doing in Europe. And nobody really, and we said we want more Europe I disagree. Either we go for Europe in total or we forget it. <laughs>